Hey there, Greg here, your go-to introverted networker. Ever feel like you're spinning your wheels with networking, but not really getting anywhere? Trust me, you're not the only one. But what if I told you the secret isn't about just reaching out, it's about having a process. Today I'm diving deep into my personal daily networking habits that have transformed my connections from stagnant to stellar. And I'm going to show you step by step how you can do the same. Ready to unlock the power of effective networking? Let's dive in. All right, let's kick this off with something I call 525 150. Actually, I didn't make this up. This is something I learned from a guy named Sean Johnson, and I shared this in episode 35 of my newsletter. It's a way to organize your contacts, your networking contacts. And this is a list of people that I try to network with, keep up with. It's basically my my list of my network. The way it works is you categorize people into three buckets, five, meaning you're going to the the five people that you're going to be focused on helping the most. You might connect with them every week or multiple times a month, but these are the people who you're really trying to focus on and work with to help them with whatever it is they're working on. And then 25 is the next 25 people who you might talk to once a month and you're trying to stay in touch with them, keep up with them, help them where you can. And then the last bucket is 150. These are 150 people that you know, they know you, you're connected with, you'll share information with them, and you'll probably keep up with them every quarter, maybe a couple of times a year. Really, these buckets can change. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, but this is just the structure that I started using and I think works for me. Any of this stuff can be customized. But when people ask me, how do you keep track of your network? This is how I do it. This is on the screen in a Notion template. If you're not familiar with Notion, it is a way to capture notes, capture calendars, to-do lists, things like that. It's an online tool. It can be done in an app. You should check it out if you haven't looked at it already. And, and if you're interested in this template, I can certainly send it to you with all the names taken out. And as you can see, I've blurred out the names, the notes, the companies of these people for their privacy. But you would see their names. You would see information about them. You'd see the companies that they worked at. I have the category, the 525, 150, and then I have a status here. And the status is a place in my networking process. If you followed me or you've seen any of my other videos or seen my free course, the five steps to grow your professional network, I break the process down into five steps. And these aren't steps that are going to happen in a perfect line. But the first step is who do you already know? Then the second one is connect online, but, but meet in real life. That's really kind of two steps, but I, I combine them into one. And then listen and give where you are listening to what people are working on and giving them help. And then the last thing is be easy to help where you're telling them what you need. And then the final thing is make it a habit. I try to categorize my connections with where I am in the process with them. So if it's somebody I just met, they're going to be, who do you know? If we are moving to an online meeting or maybe an in-person meeting, I would put them in that status. And if it's somebody who I've helped over years or, and they've helped me, they're probably in make it a habit because they're somebody I make a habit of staying in touch with. I'm in this every day. I leave this list up every single day to remind me to spend some time networking. I try to network 15 minutes a day at least. I set a timer. I say, I just have to focus on doing some networking tasks for 15 minutes. And once it's over, I can stop. I talked about this in the last episode where if you do it for 15 minutes a day, every single day, you'll be surprised at how much progress you make. You'll be surprised how many people you can send a quick note to in 15 minutes a day. When you send out those notes, not everybody's going to reply right away. They're going to wait and they're going to send back a reply when it's convenient for them, which is fine. People respond at different times. And when they do, then you take the conversation the next step. Are you going to have a phone call? Are you going to meet in person? Then you schedule that and then you go meet with them. All these tasks are things I do in my 15 minutes a day. So in my 15 minutes, I'll do a couple of things. If there's new people that I've met or been introduced to, I'll add them to this list. If there are people I'm looking for, so there's perhaps somebody I want to meet or somebody I'm interested in, maybe somebody I've seen on LinkedIn that... I want to add to my network, I'll go ahead and put them on the list. And then I'll make the initial outreach message to them. That's something I can do. I can follow up on those messages that I sent out. 
maybe people responded and now we're moving on to the next step. I can be setting up coffee meetings, lunch meetings, on the phone meetings. That's another part of networking. I can be searching for interesting ideas or articles, or if I've come across those, I can send those out to the people that I've got on this list. So I have different interests for people in this list column. Some people are in HR, some people are in compensation like me, some people are vendors I worked with, some people are into coaching, some people I just know from LinkedIn. I can add interests here and then I can group these interests. So if I found something cool, I could send it to multiple people and really just give them a piece of information that maybe they didn't already have. So that's another way I would use this. And then the company piece here is if somebody said to me, hey, do you know anybody who works at one of these companies? I could look on my list and say, oh, I know this person. Then I don't really have to think too much about it uh, of who I could connect them with. But this works when you come in here and you spend a little bit of time each day updating this. And I can even, you can't see her on the on the board, but in each one of these, if I were to open this person up and look at their details, there's a next uh, contact date that I can sort this list by the next contact date. So I could even say, who am I supposed to get back in touch with today? And I could sort it by that and go to the top of the list. And then I know, hey, here's who I need to follow up with. This could be in Notion. It could be in a spreadsheet, whether you use Excel or Google Sheets. It doesn't really matter. The tool isn't important. It's the process. And people will ask me about my process. How do you network every day? How do you keep this going? How do you stay in touch with people? And like I said before, you can really do this in a short amount of time if you'll commit to showing up and doing it every day. Now, your focus of what you're going to be doing could be different. You could be searching for a job. So all of your contacts and the people who are really important to you at the top of the list in your five bucket or your 25 bucket are contacts at companies you want to work with. Those are going to be the things you prioritize. And that might be the focus of your list. If you're growing a business, it might be customers that you're targeting or you want to get in touch with. If you're somebody who's trying to grow knowledge and get smart in an area, these might be people who are talking about interesting things or talking about your industry, talking about things you want to learn about. Those could be the people you track and try to get in touch with. If you're like me and you're just trying to keep your network alive and growing and strong, it's going to be a combination of things. You can see a lot of these people are former coworkers. They're people I've partnered with in the past. I would like to partner with in the future. I have a lot of different interests. And so a lot of these people are from different parts of my life, but I try to keep up with all of them. Even if it's just to say something like, Hey, I saw you comment on my post today. Thanks so much for that. How are things going? Or I saw you liked my post. How's it going? So that's how I use this list. Now, you're probably looking at this and going, how would I even start to create this? How would I get started here? So let me give you a couple of hints on how to do that. Number one, if you're thinking, I don't know who my top five would be, I like to do an exercise called first five. And what first five is, think about if you lost your job today, who are the first five people, family excluded, that you would tell or reach out to? Put those people's names on this list and make those your top five. Now, they may not need anything from you. They may not be somebody you've talked to in a while, but put them on your list as the first five people and then reach out to them and say something like, hey, we haven't talked in a while. You crossed my mind the other day. They did because you put them on your list and I wanted to know how you were doing. So start there. And then from there, you can start looking for other lists of people. Maybe you have a contact list. Start to put it into this format. Maybe you have your list of LinkedIn connections, your first degree connections, people that you already know have connected with. You can add some of these people to this, this list. I have a lot of LinkedIn messages that people sent me and I've sent to them. I'll go through those messages and just scroll through and say, oh, there's somebody from six months ago that I haven't talked to in a long time or from a year ago or even longer than that. And I'll add them to this list. I have emails that I've gotten from people over the years that I've saved. I've saved them in a networking folder. You probably don't have a networking folder. You should going forward. But I, you may have an archive folder. You may have your inbox. Maybe you don't clean your inbox. You leave every message there. Maybe you have sent items. You can scroll through the people you sent emails to or received them from and think, is this somebody I want to stay in touch with and put in my network? That's a way to start putting people on this list. It doesn't have to be all at once. Trust me, my list of 150 people isn't even close to 150 people. 
they're in that bucket, but I haven't filled it up yet. And I've been doing this for a little while, but it's just because I add a couple people a day or maybe even one person a day. And I send one or two messages a day and I follow up on some messages that keeps the conversations going, that keeps the communications going. Once you've got this, you just keep coming back to it and updating. You've got to make it a habit to come in here and manage this. Do you need to do this to network? No. You can network in a lot of different ways. This is not absolutely necessary. However, I find that having this, number one, reminds me that I need to network every day and it helps me keep up to date and it really keeps it organized so it doesn't seem so uh, all over the place and scattered. When things aren't in a process, it's very easy to say, oh, I'll get to that later. I'll do that later. And, and then you never get to it and you wonder why you're not networking. If you're interested in this template or this format, let me know. You can send me uh, an email. You can send me a comment. You can put the comment in this video. You can uh, subscribe to my newsletter and send me a message that way. You can follow me on LinkedIn and send me a, a direct message or comment on one of my posts. I'm happy to share this with you. This is gonna become part of something I'm developing called the Introverted Networker Playbook. And this playbook is designed to have different projects for networking, which are the five steps, but then tasks within it. It's really designed to give you a daily action plan for how to network. And it's not a step-by-step -step necessarily, because as I said, this process doesn't always happen in a nice linear fashion, but it's designed to give you a place to go every day and say, what do I need to do today? Who do I need to connect with? What tasks do I need to be doing? And it'll organize your contacts, your target companies or your target people. It will have links to all my resources, everything I've written about networking that I think will help you. Uh, so when I was giving you those ideas about where to get people's names to put in here, you know, I've, I've talked about that in other places and there's a link to an article or a post that will help you walk through that. So it's, it's learning, it's educating, it's teaching you how to network, but instead of just a video course, which I've done those and I have those if you're interested, it, gives you a, a place to come in every day and say, I'm going to spend these 15 minutes on networking and here's the tasks that I'm going to focus on today. And you can track those and update this information so that all your networking is in one place. I'm going to be sharing that more about that as I get that built. And I'm really looking for people who are interested in testing it and giving me their feedback. If that's something you're interested in, let me know. I would love to give this to you when it's sort of in its beta test version. And if you give me feedback and, and possibly a testimonial, I would love that. And this is gonna be something that in the future when it's built out and ready to go, it's gonna be a paid product. This is something I'm going to sell to people. But if you're in on the testing and you help me out at the beginning, it's something that you'll get for free. So let me know if you're interested. Would love to have your help on this. I'm here to help you and I really wanna make something that works for you and makes it easier for you to network and keeps you on track. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the, net, the newsletter. As always, like I say at the end of every episode, I hope that this week you meet somebody interesting and that you always remember ABC, always be connecting.